I think that the main thing that people struggle with in fundamentals is basically it's like, what the crap is this? Like, this is totally new. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. I've never had to critically think for an exam question. channel I'm Alanya Tayshawn and today we are going to be talking about the fundamentals of nursing before we start talking about anything I'm going to need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more content like this give me a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that I upload this is probably one of my most highly requested videos following the pharmacology one that actually uploaded the week before this one so if you have not seen that one yet I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below if you are watching this video you are most likely in fundamentals class I would assume so that would mean that you are towards the beginning of your nursing school curriculum I know that for me we took fundamentals the first semester of nursing school along with health assessment um farm one and i think that was that was it fundamentals is basically the basics of nursing in fundamentals you'll talk about the general body systems um assessment the nursing process um critically thinking prioritization you learn about things like NG tubes, ostomies, um, catheters. So all that good stuff is talked about in fundamental. Basically, it's just a big collection of the foundations of what you need to know about nursing before you go into the more specialized um, classes like pediatrics, geriatrics, um, the adult health classes and psych, stuff like that. So fundamentals is very, very, very super, super important that you get it. Um, because it is the foundation of everything else that you will be learning in nursing school pretty much. But I'm not going to lie, fundamentals was not the easiest class that I've ever taken by far because I think that in fundamentals you have no idea of what the information will be like. You have no idea of how the testing will be. You don't know what the questions will be like. You don't know, you don't know nothing. So basically you're just in there freshly like, okay, how does this work? Because you're so used to just memorization and you're not used to critically thinking and answering prioritization questions or select all that applies. So let's talk about it. In fundamentals, I think that the very, very first thing that we talked about was the nursing process. And what the nursing process is, is basically just the systematic breakdown of how the nursing thinking and how nursing care goes in general. The first part of the nursing process is assessment. Assessment, assessment, assessment. Literally throughout your whole entire time in nursing school, they're gonna drill it in your head that you always assess first. If there's ever a question that says, what is the nurse supposed to do first? If there's an option for assessment and the other options are implementing things, then I would say nine times out of 10, the answer is gonna be that assessing question because you can't really know what to do unless you've assessed the situation. So the second part of the nursing process is diagnosis. Nanda has all of the certified nursing diagnoses that are necessary for proceeding with care of any patient. So um, these include things such as acute pain, altered mental status, um, disturbed thinking processes, um, acute respiratory dysfunction, things like that. It's not necessarily like diabetes or hypertension or gout. Those are examples of medical diagnoses, which are not in the nursing scope of practice. You will definitely become more familiar with specific nursing diagnoses, especially after you've seen them so many times. You'll definitely see um, risk for fluid imbalances or electrolyte imbalances or, you know, the common ones. You'll see them more and more and you'll be more familiar with them. Also in fundamentals, you will become more familiar with care plans and this will help you with your diagnosis and pretty much your whole entire nursing process. Care plans includes the assessment, the diagnosis, the planning, implementation, and the evaluation. So it becomes more of a visualization once you get started doing care plans. Most of the time, the tests are broken down into 
body systems so common body systems and within that it's going to be the common medical issues or common things that you'll see as a nurse within that body system such as the cardiovascular system respiratory system integumentary system and that may be one test this is just examples that may be one test and then you have the neural system the muscular system and the skeletal system and that may be one test so it'll be um divided into body systems and within that you'll learn how to assess this you'll learn what are some common diagnoses that i may see with this what are some common treatments that we may do with this what are some common drugs even there's a little bit of pharmacology and fundamentals i remember us talking about um but it's not as specific as your actual pharmacology course but there may be some questions that say what drug would we give for this patient or what side effects may we, you know, it may be some of that, but it's definitely not as heavily as the actual pharmacology course. I think that the main thing that people struggle with in fundamentals is basically it's like, what the crap is this? Like, this is totally new. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. I've never had to critically think for an exam question. It's just normally... Normally the exams that I I know for me personally, the exams that I was taking outside of nursing school were strictly more memorization or just recalling the information that I studied. But with nursing school, especially fundamentals because it's your first time having to do it, it is like a whole new world. A whole new world. You have a question on the exam and it won't just be straight up just what is this or how do we do this? No, it'll be in a scenario most of the time or it'll be in some sort of prioritization question like what would you do first or which patient should the nurse see first? So then once you see that within the questions, you have to memorize what you studied in regards to which patient has a more critical or urgent need. And then from there, you would see which one needs to be seen first. So it's more thinking within the questions. So since we're talking about prioritization questions, for me personally, the thing that helped me was to think about it in ABCs, then in the nursing process, and then if that's not helpful, then I would even go to Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So ABCs, if you do not know, are airway, breathing, and circulation. And then we just talked about the nursing process, which is ADPI, ADPIE, or assessment, diagnosis, planning, implementation, and evaluation. And then Maslow's hierarchy of needs is basically the triangle pyramid that shows what the basic human needs are on the bottom and goes up and up to more um, self-actualization. With priority questions, airway, breathing, circulation. If any of those are in jeopardy, we need to act quickly and airway is first because if you're not breathing you're not getting oxygen so nothing else really matters you're not you not getting nothing's gonna work so airway then if that's not an issue we move on to breathing if that's not an issue then circulation is the priority if those aren't um, necessarily stated then we will move on to the nursing process so what would you do first you would assess first assess first after you have assessed then you will diagnose what the issue is from your assessment and then once you have diagnosed it you will plan what you will do then you're going to implement what you just planned and after you've done the implementation after you've done all of that then you're going to go back and evaluate which is basically just assessing again at the end to basically see if everything that you just did worked or not that is how I break down priority questions and how I walk through what would I do first, what would I do next, and so on and so forth. The last thing that I will talk about with fundamentals is how crucial it is to learn how to do nursing style questions. It is so important. You can read the chapters all day and night. You can make flashcards, you can make flashcards up to here, you can write notes till your hand starts cramping up, and all of that is fine and dandy. But you still don't know how to answer the questions though. Definitely take advantage of the questions that are online. Um, definitely take advantage of if your book comes with an access code. I know that my book did. 
um, take advantage of those questions because nothing is going to be more helpful and resourceful than actually practicing what the questions will look like on the test. Because remember, it's not the questions that you're used to at all. It's not the basic memorization questions. So please do practice questions. Take advantage of them. So that's the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please do not forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Comment down below what other videos that you'd like to see from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.